And so the evening arrived that all the engines that were powered by tenders and coaches needed to come in for their annual inspection. Hank's coach was already in the workshop, but four more lingered on the siding with their engines attached. And in the siding next to theirs, there happened to be one, two, three, four very troublesome trucks. And the first of the bunch laughed <laughs> and said, hmm, very interesting. Engines with no one around and tenders and coaches that are self-powered. Hmm. And all the other troublesome trucks quickly understood what the first troublesome truck was getting at. Mm. I tell you what we should do, he said, laughing. <laughs> we should grab those tenders and coaches and have us a little fun. What do you say? And they all in turn agreed. Yes, great idea. Mm. Love it. Let's do it. Wish I had thought of it myself. So four troublesome trucks and four powered coaches and tenders were in for some big fun. What would that fun entail? Ever so stealthily, the trucks began to uncouple the coaches and tenders. First was Harvey's coach. <laughs> Piece of cake. Second was Molly's coach. Mm, not quite as easy, but I certainly got it now. <laughs> well, that was no problem at all. Hank was fast asleep. <laughs> Murdoch Schmurlock. He won't miss this at all. <laughs> and so the very troublesome trucks made their way down the siding. But where were they to go? What kind of fun could be had with these powered coaches and tenders? Hmm. It just so happened that the track had been set up for a strongest competition. So there was no more doubt of where they were headed. Straight for the strongest competition. Track. Woohoo! Shh, quiet now. First up was Harvey's coach. He would be vying against Molly's coach. Who will be the winner? Amazingly, the engines remained quiet. Were they asleep? Were they just resting? Or were they looking forward to this competition? Hmm. And they were all lickety split. It was Molly against Harvey's coach. They were stuck in battle. Could they make any headway? It seemed they were both of equal strength. Let's do this again. Let's do it again. Toad was brought in to try to settle the match. Can Toad get it done? Let us see. And they were off again with Toad in the middle. Oh! Harvey's coach with that crazy troublesome truck carrying the yellow crates wins the first match. Wee! Better luck next time. Toad was none too happy about falling over, but he was happy the match was settled. Next up was Murdoch's Tinder versus Hank's Tinder. Who will win? And they're off headed to each other. There's no going back. Oh no! Hank's Tinder's in trouble. He's off. Murdoch's Tinder and the wild truck make it to the finish. The engines were still dozing. Even with all the racket, they were fast asleep, or at least pretending to be. And as quick as that, it was time for the final. The troublesome truck with the rocks and Murdoch's tinder versus Harvey's coach with the troublesome truck with the yellow crates. This is the final. Who will be the ultimate winner? And they're off. Who will be the winner of the match? It's the final. It looks like another tie. They're in a deadlock. Is it time for Toad? Bring out Toad. Bring out Toad. We want Toad. So once again, Toad agrees to help out. Who will be the winner? Oh, look at this. The truck is going sideways. It's Harvey's Toad and the wild truck. Way to go. Murdoch's Tinder 
on the other truck. So he's upside down. What a final. Harvey's coach has got victorious. Harvey's coach was victorious. But as stealthily as they came, even more stealthily, they must return. The coaches and the tenders to their appropriate engines. Can they get it done? Can they get it done? Slowly, and now ever so quietly, they made their way back to the engines. Now, just to get them coupled back up, maybe Toad can help out. Harvey's coach was back on. Toad was keeping an eye out to make sure none of the engines were stirring. Murdoch had his tender back on. Molly had hers. Only Hanks was left. Yes, it had been done. The first truck's strongest competition with the help of Toad and none of the engines were awoken that we know of. Hmm. It sure sounded like something was happening there. Maybe I was having another crazy dream. Hmm. 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 Bye bye now. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode. A little bit something different. Bye bye. Well, I hope I don't get involved in those kind of shenanigans again. Hmm. Wee. Too close for comfort. <laughs>